Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Joey Thomas, entrepreneur and small business educator here with 17 Hats. Now, in today's video, I'm going to ask this one question. When should I raise my prices? I know this is a question that you guys have asked yourselves a thousand times, maybe more in the course of your business. So let's dig into it just a little bit today. And I have five tips for you on knowing when to raise your prices. Okay. First of all, let me ask you this. Is there anyone watching right now that doesn't want to make more money? By a raise of hands? I think we all do. And for various reasons, which is great. That's what we're in business for. See, the conversation around pricing is a deep one and one that will never end. You know, and there's a lot of confusion around when you should do it, how it's going to affect your market. Are you alienating your clients, et cetera, et cetera. But I think raising prices is an essential and necessary part of business. And as we know, due to inflation, we have to raise it accordingly anyway, right? But for me, the question around raising prices comes to knowing if your price is equivalent to the value you are giving. Okay, let me say that again. You have to know if your price is equivalent or greater than the value um to the value that you're actually giving in your business. So let's dive right in and talk a few ways to know if it's time to raise your prices. Number one, it's always the simplest. Your price has been stagnant for a very long time. See, sometimes shaking things up will help boost the demand of your product or services. Pricing has a huge impact on perception. And if your price too low, too many questions come up around the quality of your offer. And if the price has been stagnant, you may notice that your competitors have actually raised their prices and you're the last one to the dance. Now that leads me to number two, your competitors are priced much higher. See, if you see this happening, first look at their offerings and the client expectations around those offerings. Unless you can provide a similar or unique set of solutions that your competitors are offering, raising prices to match theirs may not be a good idea just yet. So what I'm saying is sometimes there's a little deep work to be done while you are thinking about raising your prices. Number three, you close at a high percentage of sales and you're selling at your top price point. So you close your sales at a high percentage, right? Now, if you're typically closing your deals and in, in sales at over 80%, it could mean that you haven't created enough tension in that price point. And so now it's different if you're selling a product that's supposed to be sold at volume, it should be sold easily, right? But if you're selling a service or if you're selling a luxury good or a product that's a little bit more boutique, um, selling it too easily is a red flag. Now, it may be too easy for people to purchase. And if you're someone that offers collections or choices in your sales process, same can be said if you're constantly selling your top package. If you find that they're buying at your highest price point all the time, it might be too easy and maybe the value that you're creating is already high and they know it. So they're jumping on those top prices. OK, so you might be closing uh, too easily or at a very high percentage and it's time to maybe look at raising your prices. OK, number four. The other areas in your business have revamped and improved dramatically, but your pricing has stayed the same. See, there's a cumulative effect to your value that you provide. Sometimes, even if the product or service remains exactly the same, the stellar experience you create demands a higher price point. If not, it actually ends up devaluing what you offer and devaluing your service and product within the market. So if you have done a lot of improvements. If your branding has gotten better, your website has gotten better, the client experience has gotten better, you have implemented 17 hats, quote, contracts and invoices, and everything's going really smooth, right, in your business, that means your clients are being well taken care of. 
And the truth is, guys, not everyone's doing those things to become better. But so if you are, it might be time to raise your prices. And number five, you are ready to be positioned within a different segment of the market. Okay, so pricing is positioning, right? I want to say that again. Pricing is positioning. If you are looking to be seen and desired by a segment of the market that is willing to spend more for what they value, price point plays a role in how much they trust you from the get-go. Okay, let me give you an example. Let's imagine a five-star restaurant right, wants to open up, or let's just call it a luxury restaurant wants to open up. They have valet parking, and the chef meets you at the table, beautiful ambiance, right, and you know this place is legitimate, okay, so you walk in, and it's a special occasion, you know you're going to be putting down some money, at least that's the expectation, okay, so everything is great, but then if I love steak. So if you got a nice prime ribeye or New York strip or a Wagyu steak at the table or you're looking through the menu and all of a sudden the steak is priced at $12.99, something doesn't sit quite right, does it? You walked in. It was beautiful ambiance. There's live like a, you know, piano player and candles everywhere it looks beautiful right the experience was amazing and yet the steak is priced at 12.99 i would pause for a second and say what's going on here something doesn't make sense it creates confusion it creates questions and the moment questions and confusion come in you also begin psychologically mentally start to notice other things that may not be right and you're trying to figure out what's going on. See, you don't ever want to create confusion with your pricing. If you have done an excellent job and created an excellent client experience, a client journey, you have implemented 17 hats from lead capture all the way to the final sale and delivery, you are doing a great job. But make sure your prices are in synchrony with your offer, your brand, and where you want to be in the market. Well, guys, in conclusion, it may be time to raise your prices, but as I've gone over in this video, it has to be done with some strategy in mind. And other parts of your business has to to be able to support the prices that you're about to ask for. So I hope these five tips will help you guys decide if it's time to raise your prices. And guys, if you like this video, hit like. Use the comments below if you have questions about raising prices. If you have questions about 17 hats, use the comments below and let's start a conversation. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so right now. And I'll be back with more videos just like this. See you again soon.